from Petco Park in downtown San Diego. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set, it's the Washington Nationals and the San Diego Padres. Along with this is Corbin Carroll. Swing and this one's bounced on the ground. Camposado throws to first in time. One up, one down. Let's take a look at our lineup. Not a team that usually sees a lot of pitches or works a ton of walks, Chris. They take a more aggressive approach than some of the other teams in the league. They definitely have a few free swingers in this lineup. You know, guys who want to be on the attack, and that's great as long as you got pitches in the zone. But if the pitcher's able to expand the zone, it can be very difficult for an offense like this to get going. You've got to somehow draw some walks, put some runners on base so that we when you do have those free swingers come up, you can cash in with some runs that are plated. At the belt and fires. Rips that one center field. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And that'll do it. Three up. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here comes Sander Bogarts. That one ripped. And no one can get there. It falls in. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now the youngster Juan oh, Soto. Next pitch misses. Three balls and a strike. There's a strike. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Right-hander kicks, deals. Oh, and there's ball four. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's a stone-cold take. Now it's going to be Fernando Tatis. That's out number three. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play, gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. Top of the second, and here's the first baseman, Jordan Walker. Here comes a pitch. There's a swing and a drive. That's back. And forget it. Is 26th of the year. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. Elevated fastballs, especially away, are like putting a ball on a tee. Hitters do a lot of cage work. They're comfortable hitting off the tees. And he was comfortable right there hitting that ball opposite field for a home run. Up now for Washington, Jason Dominguez. Two for eight in the series so far. Gonna count one and two. Hard hit left side. Tosses to first. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. And now up for Washington, number 12. Three for seven in the series so far. Way inside, gets out of the way. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Grisham snags it for the second out. Two outs, space is empty. At the play, Brett Beatty. Hitless of the first two games of the series. He's 0 for 8. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 1-0 ball game. You're watching Nationals Baseball on the show mid -Atlantic. Back here at Petco Park, bottom of the second. Now the third baseman, Manny Machado. 
And a count one and two. The pitch. And a ball evens the count. And another ball. Three two. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Machado is gone and there's one away. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. The punch out there, and there's two away. No, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Now it's Matt Carpenter. Next offering is fouled back. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Top half of the third inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Francisco Alvarez. Alvarez. The pitch. On the ground. Oh, and it hits the base. Bogarts. And no throw. He's into first easily. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this stretch. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And now it's going to be Drew Jones. Next one misses, and it's two and one. Puts a bunt down. Cronenworth to second. There's one, and he'll keep it for just the one. And now here's the Nationals leadoff man, Corbin Carroll. Grounded out his first time up. And a sack bunt here. Flips it behind his back. As the pitcher brings it in for the out and the runner advances to second. Next to hit for the Nats, Anthony Volpe. Jones on its second with two down. Good job to fight that one off. The one two. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the strike. Back here in San Diego as we go to the last of the third. Digging in it's the speedy outfielder Trent Grisham. And a one two. Tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. And he went around. Rule the swing. Now the catcher up to hit. Luis Campusano. Four for eight in the series so far. Next pitch is downstairs. And that's ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's oh. down it away. And he deals. Swings and misses. Xander Bogart's a little frustrated. Standing in is the power hit executive baseman. Ha Sung Kim went down on strikes his first time through. Okay. That one outside, ball two. There's a strike. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Here's Juan Soto. And the righty deals. Late that time and it's strike two. Gets a piece. And stays alive. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. 
The high heat, too much on that one. And a 2-1 on the way. Lined, and that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Now here is Jordan Walker. Kicks and fires. Oh, that one rides up and in. Straighten him up a little bit. Holiday gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Line drive. Base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. The throw to third. Throw comes in. Runner stopped. Second and third. Nobody out. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. The pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two runners in scoring position. Nobody out. Rolled over to third. Machado. Slings it across. That's out number one. And a run comes in to score. Number 12 digging in for the Nationals. He's 0 for 1. Strike two. One ball. Two strikes. That's a base hit, run scores. To second, and it pulls the shortstop off the bag. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. And now the lefty swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. You know, Boog, you often think a slider is more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Gone! He circles the bases, his 17th of the year. It's five zip. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Up now for Washington, Drew Jones. And a pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Third out, and that ends the frame. Bottom four, stepping in for San Diego, Fernando Tatis. Right side, hard hit. Walker takes it himself, out. and a quick out number one. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Right. And now a full count. Full count. And he walked him. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Puts it away for the out. Matt Carpenter, the next up for the Padres. His first at-bat was a strikeout. Machado, the runner at first with two gone. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Inning over. Padre. New pitcher on here. You Darvish. 
And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. Well, these Nats really impressed me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. Anthony Volpe getting ready to hit. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. One, two now. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That's his second strikeout. Jackson Holiday digging in for the Nationals. One for two. Ball to strike. Up the middle. Kim jump throw across his body, and the inning is over. Nothing doing for one. And welcome back. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. In there safely. Here's the catcher, Luis Campusano. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Next offering is in for a strike. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that one finds its way through. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They've had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Bogarts retired. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. One, two now. To third. Beatty to first. That ends the inning. One left for San Diego. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. Welcome back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And here is Jordan Walker. Ripped on a line. Soto makes the grab, one down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there, nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Got it by him for the K. Well, just a little cut fastball on the inside part of the plate and couldn't get the barrel to it at all. Just kind of tied him up there right under the hands. Tells me he's probably looking soft away and just wasn't able to adjust. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So a man aboard, Brett Beatty, digging in for the Nationals. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Grisham makes the catch, and that'll do it. So no runs on no Back here at the ballpark, Juan Soto now. The 1-1. That's Whoa. down and in. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some That's runs. The, the next pitch misses. Three and one. Left hand batter waits. Hard ground ball. Base knock. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Tatis waits. Here's a tapper towards short. Volpe on the run. Throw to first. One away. Bottom of the sixth. And now it's Manny Machado. 3-2. Swung on, belted. Dominguez going back on this one. Makes the catch up against the wall in foul territory. Runner tags at second. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync. And the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing. To Got him. And yeah, the Padres waste a chance. Back here at Petco Park, we go to the top of the seventh, and here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. Swing and a ball lifted left field. 
Soto makes the grab one away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Activity in the bullpen for San Diego. Nabil Krizmat up and throwing. And down on strikes he goes. And two away now. Here's the center fielder, Corbin Carroll. Maybe expecting a bunt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So two down. Here's the shortstop at the play. Anthony Volpe. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Slider got him for bottom of the seventh. And now the DH, Matt Carpenter. So now one and two. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know if you want to get that first knock out of the way, maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. The wind of the pitch. And the one-two misses to even the count. Two-two. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first down. Next for the Padres, Trent Grisham. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. Boy, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. One down. Luis Campusano, the next up for the Padres. To second, there's one. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning. Go to the eighth. Now it's the DH, Jackson Holiday. Next offering is foul back. Your attention, please. Three. Back here in San Diego, here's Xander Bogarts. That one misses Three. in the dirt. Line to left, just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. Around first, heading for two. In safely, it's a double, and his second hit. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man, and as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. And now it's Juan Soto. This guy has turned into a beast. Now a screamer into the outfield. That's a hit. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Fernando Tatis, the next up for the Padres. Right field down the line, and that one... like from the first pitch of this ball game this guy was going to get it done a quality start who knew he'd throw a complete game and get the victory but an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down 
He navigated through this ball game of jam here, a jam there, but ultimately it was an outstanding outing. 7-2 your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.